guys, it's Sharon Welcome back to my channel. You might be wondering what I'm doing on the floor and I'm going to explain that to you. So I have posted a few travel videos on my YouTube channel. Things like when I've gone to Club Med, when I've gone on some golf trips to the Ryder Cup. And often when I'm traveling, I'm obviously bringing a suitcase. The one that I am using is this one from Away. This is the bigger carry-on that I purchased um, I want to say like two years ago, I think, maybe a year ago, I don't remember. But when I purchased it, I did not have the ejectable battery. It didn't come with that yet. So mine is the first model that they put out where in order to take out the battery, if you had to for your flight, what you would have to do is you would have to open your suitcase, unzip the lining, unscrew the cartridge that this came in, the little compartment and then take it out that way. Away, of course, realized how inconvenient that was. And they now offer suitcases with an ejectable battery. And they were kind enough to let all of their customers know that if you have an older version of the suitcase, what you can do is you can stop by a store and drop off your suitcase and they would change it for you. You could send in your suitcase and they would change it for you. Or you could give them your address and they would send you a box with all the things that you would need and you could do it yourself at home. Obviously I live in Florida and there is no away store near me. Sending this in seemed like a bigger hassle than just getting the box of things myself. So I decided just try my hand at it. I am not a very handy kind of person. So I don't know how this is going to go, but we're all going to find out. This is what comes in the box. You have this, which is a little, this is your directions on how to change it. It says here a Phillips head screwdriver or a power drill. I don't have a power drill, so we're just going to use this screwdriver that I have. Thank gosh, really glad I have one of these. And then it says here you can either read this instructions that they give you or you can watch the video that they have online. I've already watched the video twice, so hopefully I can just do it by reading this. So it says here, open your suitcase and lay it flat. So I've done that and okay. So I've already taken the battery out. So now it says to remove the tape over the screws on A, B, and C. Okay, so then it says to unscrew everything and make sure to keep the washers and the screws paired together. Now it says that you're going to remove the handles. So these right here, you're going to remove these from the bottom of your suitcase. And it says to use a little muscle. Okay, so let's try it. Oh, that took, <laughs> that took zero effort, you guys. All right then, this is a new one. And here, obviously you can see this has the ejectable um, part on it. And it says, slide the new unit into place. It'll line up perfectly. So I'm thinking it might be easier to do it standing up, or standing the suitcase up. So let's close this. And that I don't really mind so much. We're going to stand this up. Okay, 
just so that you guys can know what I'm struggling with. My issue is that when I put the handles in, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I'm gonna to try to show it to you. So one side goes in fine, but then the other side doesn't. There's not a gap and I just it just looks like it because everything seems to be the same when I'm looking at it like from the side but when I look at it head on there's like a little gap here and I don't know maybe I can tighten that with screws we're gonna try you guys we're gonna they're already in, so we're gonna try. Okay guys, so we ran into a few issues. One, um, my battery died and I didn't realize. And then two, I had to take out the handle, the new handles because everything seemed fine except for the screw and washer that was supposed to go into B. The actual, I'm gonna show you on this, this is the, old, these are the old handles. So one of the places for that screw, the hole wasn't big enough for a screw to fit in there. So I had to actually take, this is, um, I just took one of the screws I had taken out. So this is one that was from C. I actually had to put it into this one and then try to, get it to widen up because the hole wasn't big enough and it wasn't cut down all the way far enough, I guess. And then once I went in with one of the little ones, I went back and actually took one of the actual screws that was supposed to go into this section on the new handle and tried to screw it in there by itself so that I could make the hole bigger. And so now we're gonna try this again and we're just gonna fit it in there Here's another thing that I'm actually having trouble with. You guys, this section, this part right here where you're supposed to be able to open it, it's so hard to open, which I'm assuming is just because it's so new. I can't imagine what else. But also now my handles are like stuck. They don't want to go higher. Like look how hard it is to open. So there's that one. 
But then when I try to go to the second one, it doesn't want to open it. So let's try this. I think it goes in this way. So if anything, the battery works. So that's great. I'm glad that worked. Is so that took way longer than I expected. That took almost an hour because of how many issues I ran into. Um, you didn't see some of them. I did end up keeping it in here, but as you can see, it's so hard. Like this is not very easy to open. And then, I don't know, I'm hoping it maybe with more use, it gets a little easier. I don't know. And then the holder for the ejectable battery is still really tight. I'm also thinking that maybe with more use that will loosen up, but I don't know. Do you think I should tell the customer service team that away, how difficult this was? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I am disappointed with how many issues I ran into when installing this. The fact that the handles are really hard to, uh, I guess, maneuver, and the fact that I had to, in order to open this the first time, I actually had to take my screwdriver and push it open because otherwise, it was not going to open on its own. I will say the main point of this, like the battery, the ejectable battery, that works totally fine. Well, I hope you guys found this video entertaining. And uh, if you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will probably follow up on this little away carry-on saga that we have going on now. Okay, guys, I will see you all in my next video, which will, I will have next week. Until then, bye, guys.